This is the Grenadian reality. This is our current state of affairs. In order to boost energy efficiency and environmental conservancy, the Grenada Electricity Services Limited and the Government of Grenada have teamed up to launch a pilot program involving all electric cars. Annette Moore attended a test drive session and filed this report on her electric experience. Scent, that stifling exhaust odor that fills your nostrils, generated by cloudy plumes which obscure visibility and have detrimental side effects. Those emissions contribute to global warming by trapping additional heat in the atmosphere. However, there is good news for Grenada. One local company is falling in line with the spirit and goals of the government of Grenada's national energy policy by investing in renewable energy alternatives. That company is the Grenada Electricity Services Limited, popularly known as Grenlec. The government and basically the nation of Grenada has decided to reduce their carbon footprint. Grenlec has officially begun the all-electric vehicle pilot project. So we decided to, with the cooperation of the government, launch this particular project. Well, we received a, a reduction from the government on the vehicle as a part of their contribution to the project. Grenlec has begun testing the electric vehicles. The Nissan manufactured fleet consists of two cars and an eight-seater van. They're very similar to a regular car, but with one primary difference. This is an all-electric vehicle. There's been significant public interest. I, I suppose it's something that's new. Even before we branded the cars, uh, we had lots of people being able to recognize them. Fossil fuel is burnt in two main areas in Grenada and basically in the Caribbean. One, in the production of power. And secondly, even more fossil fuel is burned in the transportation industry. And if we are serious to make an impact, we have to introduce other means other, other than burning fuel, you know, both for generation and also for transportation. The Grenlec pilot project will evaluate the efficiency, cost savings, safety, performance, and environmental benefits to be gained from using the electric vehicles, also referred to as EVs. And we have, instead of just a simple gas tank, we have basically a, a, a mileage bar that tells us what the range of the vehicle is, and that's a little bit different. The standout features include the absence of an exhaust pipe and a charging port on the front of the car, which replaces the fuel receptacle. The really big changes, however, are under the hood. The car uses an inverter and a motor um, and a battery pack, basically to power the vehicle. So, for the motorists who dread their frequent visits to the auto repair and servicing shop, this will mean fewer parts to service and significant savings. We got the opportunity to be part of the test drive of Grenlex Electric Fleet and were very impressed. One of the noticeable features is the silence at startup, as there is only a computerized alert chime when the car is turned on. To start the car, one simply has to press the power button. Then, when the driver takes off, the driver will most likely experience faster acceleration as the EVs are reportedly faster from startup than combustion engine vehicles. The vehicle can be charged at the Grenlec charging ports or can even be charged at home. This side goes into the charger. For these types of chargers, there's a card. So basically you present the card to identify your vehicle and yourself. And the available lots, slot starts blinking and you simply plug this in. It goes to green and hitting that the charging process has begun. So. The Grenlec chargers are metered and monitored, providing information on the quantity of energy used and the duration of each charging activity. When applicable, this will facilitate billing as well. 
There are currently three charging ports on the island. The vehicles normally allow for 80 to 95 miles of travel on a single charge. A full charge from empty to 80% takes an average of four hours, but on a DC fast charger, it can take half an hour. Outlets at one's residence will take approximately eight hours. What's more, one battery is expected to last eight years based on usage and is replaceable. What's even better, the electric car is energy efficient in that it regains the energy it expends going uphill when going downhill. It regenerates energy when stuck in traffic, while diesel engine cars continue to burn fuel in those situations. We are already seeing from our preliminary results um, that we're saving about 50% on fuel costs uh, using the electric vehicles and of course, with fewer parts uh, that you have to service, we are expecting, of course, that maintenance costs will be low. The EVs are also a safe option for motorists. There is the concern from the maintenance side that you're dealing with high voltages, right? And there is a you know, master kill switch and so on for that. If the car is involved in an accident, that you'll be able to disconnect the voltage so that rescue persons could get in and work safely around the car. They also present an opportunity for Grenadians to keep more money in their pockets and assist in helping to lower Grenada's fuel import bill. The pilot will run for six to nine months as Grenlec collects technical and cost implication data, which will periodically be reported to the public. So persons can have a true appreciation of the cost of the vehicles, the capability of the vehicles, how reliable or unreliable they are. We are going to hold nothing back. We will give you simply the facts. So do you want one? The current cost of one of the EV cars is 113,000 EC dollars, compared to a similarly priced internal combustion vehicle at 75 to 80,000 dollars. And after five years, over and over, what it? Yeah. If, yeah. and after five years, but overall, you yeah. go, what it if, 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 the based on the current bill? We are thinking that over the lifetime of the car, you know, you will certainly have savings. I think they're waiting on our test results to, to um, sort of inform them. Would I own one personally? Yes, I think it's a great car to have. The driving experience is wonderful. Um, I mean, once you experience that lack of noise, that lack of emissions, it is something that really makes you feel that, yes, you're doing something right. And we're thinking that as the cars become more popular, um, that the cost of the each vehicle will go down. Yes. Because If I you have your eyes set on an EV for the near or distant future, it may well be within your reach. In Barbados, the cars have caught on quite well. There are about 130 um, electric vehicles in Barbados right now. We're still hoping that... At the very end, we'll be moving Grenada towards a greener and greener economy. We have to lead the way, uh, not just in talking, but by example. Renewable energy vehicles are now the way to go. Let's see how Grenada receives this new technology.